Banners, we'll start with it. Picked up a pass. You thinking you were at Franklin's Gardens again, or did the legs take you home? Uh, I think the, luckily the legs took me home, but I also think that they must have not watched the text of uh, Northampton again to see me at court. But um, for a team, it was nice to, to get the bonus point um, and give the fans uh, the, that last home game feeling that we want to, to play some good rugby and, and get the win, and especially the bonus point. Was it a tough one coming into today's game? Obviously, winning, uh, sorry, getting the playoff spot was, was secured. It would have put a good feeling amongst the squad. Was it a tough one mentally? Where were where the heads at? I think the tough thing is that the opposition, you, you don't know what's going to come. You, you analyse opposition throughout the year and they, they, they have trends and how they want to play. Um, and with Newcastle having to win, they're going to try and chance their hands and do things that are a bit unexpected. And you think the first two attacking plays that they had, um, they scored from and, and sort of put us put us on back foot when we should have really expected that. But um, I think like what we said in a lot of games this year, it's been tough that the character of the squad and how we've come back from being behind it shows we, we just need to learn um, going forward about about not sort of taking the foot off the gas. But you can never um, you can never take away a bonus point winning this league anywhere, um, whoever you play. And um, like I said, cements that third spot for us and uh, moving on nicely towards the end of the season. I guess your try came at a perfect time as well. Yeah, I probably wouldn't even know what time it came at because as soon as I catch that ball at that white line, I'm going to ask the grandsman to shorten the pitch, I think, because it's a long way. But um, as soon as you get a try bonus point, the, the pressure doubles on the opposition if you're in the lead. So it, it makes them, we've been on the receiving end a couple of times, makes you have to feel like you have to play more um, to, to get, get more out of it, but um, I can't fault the boys at all. So that is fantastic. We had a good training week, and like I said, those first two passage plays, especially that, that 10 minutes of the second half when we were camped on our line and scrum penalty, scrum penalty, and to get out of that and, and unload the pressure was was good. And we, I think, they like said this is, it's a long season and to put performance like that last home game is fantastic. First season in Cherry, I have enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed it. I think, like I said, um, I think you've got to chuck yourself in at the deep end, shape mode at the start of the year, enjoying the, embracing the. The sort of the, the culture that you've got to change. I ain't going to change anything. I think my person, I've got to do what the boys enjoy, and um, I've had an absolute blast. I've loved every minute of it, and that's the only way you can enjoy it. Is put yourself in at the deep end, and like I said it, it'll be a nice fitting end to, to push it all the way to the end. And with boys coming back, fitness is competition places, and I'm just going to enjoy being here, and that's what I've always said I'm going to do.